mold? Or do you like a woman who has a voice and, and, and like has an opinion? Or do you want a woman who you can just, she does everything that you say? Well, let me ask you this to answer it. Why is it that across all Latin countries, right? There's a certain saying, the quieter you are, the more beautiful you are, okay? Since the beginning of time, they've been saying, women are to be seen and not be heard. For why reason. is that? For ask reason. yourself. Why do they say it's better? I'm not even Christian. But why do they say it's better to sleep on the roof of a home than share a home with a quarrelsome wife? wife? Well, what book do you read? What are you? What which one is it? He's saying as an example. I'm just telling you, follow no, all I'm different just, cultures, I'm all just different religions. What religion do you believe in? I mean, that's irrelevant to the point I'm trying to but make. But I want to know what book you follow, what principles. Well, you here's follow. the thing: I grew up Muslim. Right. Okay. Quran. So you yeah. follow the Quran. Yeah. That's the same. It has the same core principles. Value a woman, Hold value on. a man. Let me finish real quick because he's going somewhere with this. Okay. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is that since the beginning of time, different di across different texts, different biblical uh, Bibles, different uh, religious texts, it's always been it, your opinion as a female is not that important. The man is supposed to be the leader. Your opinion can be taken into account, mm -hmm. etc. But men don't want to sit there and have to argue with their wife or justify their position. Mm -hmm. It's been that way. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, okay. I agree with that. So what, what are y'all trying to say? No, like, I'm saying a man has to follow certain principles and the woman has to follow certain principles and if they're and if the man has to be the it says it in the in your in your book and in the bible the man is the first one and the woman will follow but if they both are not following those principles they don't have shit anyways so so also how does that take away from my argument that men are supposed to lead and women but are supposed right, to follow so, but and a woman, and women are not attractive so. and it says find a man who lives by core principles that i am teaching you in the book if we follow a man who's not living by those principles we will sink our own self so so hold on hold on it also says be what submissive to your husband right so ultimately here's a hierarchy here god mm -hmm. the man Mm -hmm. woman and kids mm -hmm. so the man has to mold you to be a wife for him so ultimately molding is actually good for you so right. sub submission comes with a leader and most so of what are you them, trying to say so most of them do not live so, by christian by any principle I just, they're just I'm, living can i i just say something the molding part what is that when you say mold what does that mean for example let's say you meet me for the first time mm -hmm. you don't you don't know what i like you don't know what i'm about but over time i'll tell you hey you know what i'm into this i'm into this then as a woman that wants to be with me, all right, this is what he wants me to be for him. Simple. It's being moldable, being coachable. It's simple. Mm -hmm. It's we your job to fall into frame. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, oh, but a, woman, a woman's voice, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not saying a woman's opinion is completely irrelevant, but there's a reason why across different cultures since the beginning of time, men have preferred quiet women. Sex, silence, and sandwiches, they make mm -hmm. that joke. Men don't really give a shit about opinionated women. No one likes a girl that always has an opinion on everything. It's a turn off. The most annoying thing ever is bringing a girl to a social function and she's over here talking with everybody, giving her opinion, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Men don't give a fuck about mm -hmm. none of that mm -hmm. stuff. Like, no, we really never, yeah. never, never said they do. We never said they do. We never said they do. Yeah. We don't and care. Never, we don't care. And I, I did we say that. Be quiet. We and both be quiet. We got a good but, man. So why are I making an argument for being able to have an opinion? But this is this is why men like dating younger women because they're less opinionated versus older. It's like, oh, I have an opinion. Don't ask for your opinion. Because they don't know no, shit. No, but they don't know. They don't. They never met Maddie and Caddy. <laughs> and they, they don't know anything. We, I feel like we, we talk less. Than <laughs> Thank God. Yo. <laughs> Yo. I mean, look, man. I'm just saying. It, look, like I said before, men overwhelmingly prefer younger women. That's a fact. Okay. Men mm -hmm. like women that are more submissive, docile, etc. Yeah. That's a fact. And women that are combative, assertive, dominant, which you two are, because you guys are both entrepreneurs. That's cool. But that's less attractive to men. But we follow principles. So you only date Christian men? We No, I follow a man who follows certain principles. I actually yeah. dated a Moroccan man who was Muslim for seven years. And we we were, were very good together. And I only Where's broke up now? with him and because he, he, became an he became an alcoholic. Where, where's his principles now? Exactly. <laughs> well, <that is> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but we built a really good business together. We had fun together. We were great together because we both followed certain principles. We respected one another. We valued one another. And and look in the Bible, in the Quran, or whatever book you follow, because you gotta follow something. Because if you out here following the streets, you're gonna get. Um, How do you know? I've seen I've it. People are drugs, suiciding. People are killing themselves. You got who is telling these people these things? Mm. What are they following? I'll be quiet they to follow a man Instagram. Who's, who's showing me that they live by certain principles yeah. and that they could lead me in the right hey, direction. You're missing a big point here. That guy probably won't even give you a chance. <laughs> like, no, he yo, actually, like, no, he like, still loves me to this day. Anyway. We're still, yo, fuck yeah. Mark. Look, look, look. What you ladies don't understand, right, is that men curve women silently, women curve men overtly. 
If a guy comes up to you, up to you that you don't like, you're going to tell him, I have a boyfriend, I'm not interested, blah, 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 to get him out of there. Or give him a fake number. If a guy meets a girl he doesn't like, he's going to have sex with her, do something casual, never give her the title. The thing is, is that women don't understand that men curve you silently when you do stupid shit that he doesn't like. He's just never going to tell you. Man, you're really annoying. Damn. Man, you're really loud. Man, you got an opinion about everything. Damn, she's always fighting me on shit. They just don't take you seriously. They keep you in the sex loop only, and that's what it is. So the thing is with y'all is you say, oh, I got these guys hitting me up, blah, blah, blah. Guys that are super masculine, guys that got their shit together, et cetera, they don't want to come home and have to debate their wife or have a discussion about or hear her debate. opinions. They don't want that shit. They want a girl that's just going to be quiet, submissive. They already mm -hmm. got to go out into the world and fight. They don't want to come home and fight you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. this is what older women can't get through their head a lot of the times is that mm -hmm. you're never going to be able to compete with a girl that's 21 that's attractive, that's feminine and docile. You're just not. Like, we don't care about your money. We don't care about your status. We don't care about how much of a queen you are. No, we will go ahead and elevate a girl that is a peasant into a queen versus dealing with a woman who thinks she's a queen. Bro, she yeah. made him drink, man. Yeah, man. No, like, she was <laughs> not even like, oh, shit. Oh. And, and the crazy part is every, oh, everything he's saying, I agree with, though. That's I do not too. We Fuck. agree with it. I agree with it. I do agree. Yo, she she Yo my nigga said seven years? Seven years? <laughs> no, nigga. Oh, shit. Seven no. years. Fuck okay. the one. What about you? Who got a question all of a sudden? It was, uh, why did you pick the okay. age that you picked? Yeah. The ages that for you For men picked. and for women. And uh, for her, she picked uh, man uh, 20, 29 and 31, and then for a girl, 22. Yeah, I think, like, most women look for, like, love when they're younger and stuff. That's just, like, in, like, our nature. But, like, men, like, I just don't think, like, most men, like, are ready to, like, settle down until they're older. So. Okay. So why a younger girl? Huh? Why'd you give 22 for females? Because most, like, women look for love when they're younger. That's just, like, how it is. Do you think a girl's better off looking for love at 22 or chasing her career and making money at 22? Mm, definitely a career. But that's career? just, like, what it, what happens. So you think it's better? So if a girl's chasing a career, et cetera, do you think she can, like, focus on finding a man to the same degree? Mm, no, probably not. So she obviously has to pick one, right? What's What do you think is more beneficial for long-term success for her happiness? Chasing that career in that bag or trying to find that man? I'm chasing her career. Why do you say that? Um, Because at the end of the day, like, you really, like, only have, like, yourself. So, like, to fall back on, like, if you have a man who, who can give you, like, everything you want and then something happens and... Y'all break up. Like, what do you have? Like, nothing. Okay. So, uh, so do you think you're going to be happier as a very successful single woman at 35 years old or 35 years old with a husband, ch children, and a family as a female? Mm, that's a hard question. Um, but personally, probably, um, like, where I am right now, I see myself probably um, – Wanting to be like more successful and independent. Okay. What do you think a majority of women would prefer though? 35 and single with money or 35 with a family and children? Um, probably a family and children. Okay. So do you think you're going to derive more pleasure from being uh, money at 35 years old or a family personally for you? Um, a career and being successful. Career? Yeah. Okay. Do you think a part of that is because you're young right now and you're getting attention from men, but as you get older, it might drop off i mean yeah i could like change my mind like when i'm like older but like as of right now that's where like i see myself okay so you want to end up, end up like her yep <laughs> i'm happy as hell though oh, come over nice. here to the money team yeah oh. come over here girl right, come over here got you got you over here Chase. we never said we're going to the i said i am not an independent woman <laughs> i said i need a woman she said she's independent Don't Sorry. To you, okay? she's younger Change your mindset. Okay. <laughs> what about you? It's Israel. Yeah. What do you think? I, I, feminism is is one of the biggest lies told to women. Man, get a career, get a bag. That's gonna create happiness for you. Look, both these women are successful entrepreneurs, but they still want a man. Yep. And we don't teach that either. We What's don't that? teach them to not want a man. You we need a man. Them, you need a man. You need find a man. a man and live by certain principles, and you're gonna find them. the other way around. We tell women you don't need a man. Get it yourself. No, no. Why you need a man. Need a man. It says it. That's a principle. It says men and women. Yeah, but in mainstream society nowadays, I'm not following that. I follow what is taught in the book. I'm I mean, not following you're saying that, but your actions show otherwise. No. Mm -mm. I mean, you no. Said, you just said you don't date Christian men. No, I follow a man who follows principles. It doesn't have to be Christian.